2015. A year etched in Australia's memory. Not for joyous celebrations, but for chilling crimes that shook the nation. From bustling city cafes to quiet coastal towns, darkness fell. These weren't just headlines, they were stark reminders of the vulnerability that lurks beneath the surface. Australia, often perceived as a laid-back paradise, grappled with a new reality. The fear was palpable, the nation mourned with the victims, they demanded justice. These crimes weren't just statistics, they were stories of loss, resilience and the fight for answers. Stories that demanded to be told. December 15th, 2014. Dawn broke in Sydney with an unsettling sight. A lone gunman, Manharan Monis, holding hostages inside the Lint Cafe. The city held its breath. Who was this man? What were his motives? Monis, a self-proclaimed cleric, was no stranger to controversy. He had a history of extremist views and run-ins with the law. Now armed and dangerous, he had the city in his grip. His demands were erratic, his behavior unpredictable. The hours stretched into an agonizing wait. Negotiators worked tirelessly, hoping for a peaceful resolution. Inside the cafe, terror reigned. Hostages faced their worst nightmare, caught in a deadly game with no clear outcome. The world watched as the siege unfolded live on television. Families prayed for their loved ones trapped inside. The gunman's motives remained unclear, fueling speculation and fear. Days turned into nights, the tension was unbearable. Then, in the early hours of December 16th, gunfire erupted. The siege had come to a tragic end. Two hostages, Tori Johnson and Katrina Dawson, lost their lives. Their deaths sent shockwaves throughout Australia. The nation mourned their loss. Their stories a stark reminder of the human cost of this tragedy. Monis, the perpetrator of this horrific act, was also killed during the police operation but his death brought little solace. The Lint Cafe siege left an indelible mark on Sydney. The city that prided itself on its vibrant spirit now grappled with grief and anger. Memorials sprung up near the cafe, a sea of flowers a testament to the outpouring of grief. The victims, Tori and Katrina, were remembered for their courage and kindness. The siege sparked a national conversation about gun control, terrorism, and mental health. It forced Australia to confront uncomfortable truths about its own vulnerabilities. The scars of that day remain, a reminder of the fragility of peace and the enduring strength of the human spirit. Section 5. The Disappearance of William Tyrrell, A Family's Worst Nightmare, September 12th, 2014. Three-year-old William Tyrrell vanished from his grandmother's backyard in Kendall, New South Wales. He was last seen wearing his favourite Spider-Man suit. His disappearance as sudden as it was baffling. The image of William's smiling face, forever frozen in time, became seared into the nation's consciousness. His disappearance struck a chord, igniting a wave of sympathy and a desperate search for answers. Police launched a massive investigation, combing through the area, interviewing locals and following every lead. But William was gone, leaving behind a void that seemed impossible to fill. His parents, devastated and clinging to hope, made heartfelt pleas for their little boy's safe return. Their pain resonated with every parent, every Australian. Section 6, searching for William, three years and still no answers. Days turned into weeks, then months, then years. The search for William Tyrrell continued, but the trail had gone cold. The lack of answers only deepened the mystery. Theories abounded. Was it a random abduction, a tragic accident, or something more sinister? Each possibility more heartbreaking than the last. Despite the tireless efforts of law enforcement and the unwavering support of a nation, William remained missing. Hope began to dwindle, replaced by a gnawing sense of despair. The case became a haunting reminder of the vulnerability of children and the indiscriminate nature of tragedy. It underscored the fact that even in seemingly safe havens, darkness can lurk. Section 7, beyond the headlines, the ripple effect on Kendall. The disappearance of William Tyrrell sent shockwaves through the small town of Kendall. The idyllic facade of this quiet community was shattered, replaced by suspicion and fear. Neighbours who once exchanged friendly greetings now eyed each other with suspicion. The innocence of childhood was lost, replaced by a sense of vulnerability that permeated every aspect of life. The community rallied around William's family, 
offering support and solace in the face of unimaginable grief. But the shadow of his disappearance loomed large, a constant reminder of the tragedy that had befallen them. The case had a profound impact on Kendall, forever changing the fabric of this once peaceful town. It served as a stark reminder that even in the most secluded corners of the world, darkness can find its way in. Section 8. The Murder of Stephanie Scott, a Community in Mourning, April 5, 2015. Stephanie Scott, a beloved high school teacher, was preparing for her upcoming wedding. Full of life and excited for her future, she had no idea that her dreams would be cut tragically short. On that fateful day, Stephanie went missing from her workplace in Leeton, New South Wales. Her disappearance sparked immediate concern, prompting a frantic search by family, friends and authorities. As days turned into nights, hope began to dwindle. The community of Leeton, united in their grief and determination to find Stephanie, refused to give up hope. But their worst fears were soon realised. Stephanie's body was found days later, her life taken in a senseless act of violence. The news sent shockwaves through the community, leaving them reeling in disbelief and sorrow. Section 9. A Day of Horror. The events leading to Stephanie's death. The investigation into Stephanie Scott's disappearance quickly turned into a murder investigation. The details that emerged were chilling, painting a picture of a heinous crime that shook Australia to its core. Vincent Stanford, a cleaner at the school where Stephanie worked, was arrested and charged with her murder. The evidence against him was overwhelming, revealing a premeditated and brutal act. Stanford's motive remained unclear, adding to the horror and senselessness of the crime. The fact that a young woman on the cusp of her wedding could be snatched away so cruelly was almost unbearable to comprehend. The case highlighted the vulnerability of women and the dark side of human nature. It forced Australia to confront the uncomfortable reality that evil can lurk in the most unexpected places. Section 10 Justice for Stephanie, the trial and sentencing. The trial of Vincent Stanford for the murder of Stephanie Scott was a harrowing ordeal for her family and friends who were forced to relive the details of her tragic death. The evidence presented in court was overwhelming, leaving no doubt about Stanford's guilt. He was found guilty of murder and sentenced to life in prison without the possibility of parole. While the sentence provided a small measure of justice for Stephanie's loved ones, it could never truly compensate for their loss. Their lives were forever changed, marked by the absence of their beloved daughter, sister, and friend. The case sparked a national conversation about violence against women and the need for greater protection and support for victims. It served as a stark reminder that even in a country like Australia, much work remains to be done to address these critical issues. Section 11, Australia's justice system, reflections on 2015 and beyond. The crimes of 2015 left an indelible mark on Australia's justice system and the nation as a whole. They exposed vulnerabilities, sparked debates and led to calls for reform. The Lint Cafe siege prompted a review of counter-terrorism laws and strategies, leading to enhanced security measures and a greater focus on preventing radicalization. The disappearance of William Tyrrell highlighted the need for improved child protection measures and resources for families of missing children. It also sparked a national conversation about stranger danger and the importance of community vigilance. The murder of Stephanie Scott reignited the debate about violence against women and the need for greater support for victims. It also led to calls for tougher sentences for perpetrators of such heinous crimes. These crimes, as horrific as they were, served as a catalyst for change. They forced Australia to confront uncomfortable truths and to strive for a safer and more just society. The legacy of these events continues to shape the nation's approach to justice, reminding us that the pursuit of a safer and more just society is an ongoing journey.